Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. <clears throat> I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked man, says the Lord, but rather in his conversion that he may live. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So the Pharisees said to him, You testify on your own behalf, so your testimony cannot be verified. Jesus answered and said to them, Even if I do testify on my own behalf, my testimony can be verified because I know where I came from and where I am going. But you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge by appearances, but I do not judge anyone. And even if I should judge, my judgment is valid because I am not alone, but it is I and the Father who sent me. Even in your law, it is written that the testimony of two men can be verified. I testify on my behalf, and so does the Father who sent me. So they said to him, Where is your Father? Jesus answered, You neither know me nor my Father. If you knew me, you would also know my Father. He spoke these words while teaching in the treasury in the temple area, but no one arrested him because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Long reading from this morning from the book of the prophet Daniel. And there is a, a verse in there that really got my attention. And the verse said this. They meaning those two wicked men, suppressed their consciences in lust for her and refused to raise their eyes to heaven. They suppressed their conscience in their lust for her and refused to raise their eyes Now, the scripture says that the eyes are the windows to the soul. Jesus says this. And so in their lust for her, it tells us something about their souls. They had pornographic souls. This is a big problem in our culture today. And not just among men, among women. And the average age of children who are first introduced to pornography is about nine years old. It is true that God created us to be attracted to beauty. It's true. Because he created us in truth, goodness, and beauty. And so we're hardwired for these things. We're hardwired for these things. But we must be very mindful and be very careful because original sin has affected us. It has darkened the mind and it has weakened the will. And so if we are going to be properly ordered, if we're going to have proper order because our passions are disordered, disordered, then we must have our eyes focused, as the scripture says, on Christ. Because he is the light of the world. And if our eyes are focused on Christ, then we are going to understand the difference between love and lust. Between love and lust. 
and we will keep our eyes raised to heaven. This is one of the reasons why in many, you know, many years ago when people came to confession, one of the sins they would confess is the lack of custody of the eyes. The lack of custody of the eyes because they were looking at things that they knew they shouldn't be looking at and it affects them. It affects them. I have a choice, either to keep my eyes focused on the Lord, not that I walk like this, but that Jesus is the light of the world and enlightens me as to what my focus truly is.